everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of lightweight action between these two great warriors. He's making that final walk that separates man and warrior, soon to be in battle there in the ring. Castillo's really keyed in for this one. You can see it as he makes his walk to the ring. Scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. How do you define consistency when you describe the fact that among this matchup you're looking for guys to be more consistent? Which guy's going to be more consistent? How do you define it? Just in one area. When they get inside, for example, Joe, every once in a while somebody takes a little bit of a break. Yeah, there's working, but all of a sudden one guy's arm goes behind the other guy. I'm looking to see who keeps both hands free. Nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by El Terrible. Oh, very nice, smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. holding come on keep busy guys come on now come on come on keep... well he's going to hope that his vision holds up and isn't impaired because there's swelling now around his eye see the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs Teddy, what do you think is the most misunderstood about the lower weight classes? Well, I think people don't realize how big those people have to be. I know that sounds crazy because they're smaller guys, but they have to be big in all the other dimensions with discipline, with confidence, and with their technical approach, their technical development. They have to deal with guys that are really fast. The bigger guys don't have to deal with all those elements. Oh, good-looking two-punch combination by El Terrible. Throws a counterpunch there. No feeling out round here at all. These two are slugging it in round number one. Reminds me of the fireworks display on the 4th of July, and the rockets just keep coming. Wow! Oh, and a crushing hook just gets on, right now. to him. to counter that attack. Final 10 seconds of round number one. End of the round here, and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was, and you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Body and head, body and head. Double up on your punches. Double up your body punches, then head. Just focus on the fight. We'll take care of this relic. So here we are, a new round underway. And in that last round, 
He got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. That's a good block by El Terrible. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Well, his opponent doesn't like that, but that's exactly what he was trying to do. Just create some space there. A good block. Good combination by Dynamite. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Castillo. Halfway through this round here. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good block by Dynamite. Turns over the hook after turning away his opponent's shot. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him, a guy that's going to move a little bit, start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counter punch by El Terrible. Ten seconds to go in this round. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left hand scores. End of the round here, a round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in. Okay, listen. When he misses you with a punch, counter, counter. Don't worry about it. The swelling is nothing. Just, just focus on the fight. And round number three is underway. Each man able to land an uppercut. Castillo's ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it. He's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. Does it surprise you that he's not going to the body as much as he could? Oh, what a shot. Big hook comes in. Come on, guys. Punch it out. Punch it out. Oh, hold it. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Castillo. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. Good defensive skill. Half 
way through this round. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Castillo. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Castillo's just making some room for himself here. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. And another right hand comes in. He has taken a lot of punishment here. Well, the special fighters find a way, even when it's desperate like this, to survive. He's got to find that way right now. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Oh, and he comes in again, landing well. Well-placed counterpunch by El Terrible. So we come to the end of the round. And clearly a confidence booster for this man. He got to his opponent. He was able to stun him. Teddy, when a fighter comes back after doing what he just did, do you see them almost light up, like get a little boost of energy because of that? Yeah, it does build your confidence a little bit. You know, it makes you feel more secure. I can control this man. I had my way. Let's get on that swell and put the top press on that. Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is... Oh, oh, he is stunned. He could go down. And there's a clinch after clearly being damaged. And a clinch he needed like flowers need rain. Accurate counter punch by El Terrible. Castillo's using that jab well very early on here, Teddy. That could be a big benefit to him tonight. Well, it's supposed to be, Joe. He has a real good wingspan. I mean, he's got those long arms. No better way to put him to use than to use that jab and use that jab at the right distance. Well, he's throwing it, but just missed. Isn't landing it. <laughs> Halfway through round number four. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. What a good counter punch by El Terrible. One minute to go in this round. Neither man has decided to slow down at all. Oh boy, what a round. Able to cover up that gut. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Able to counter that attack. <laughs> 
end of the round there. He was able to stun his opponent. Teddy, when you're training a guy that's coming off a round where he just got to his man, what do you do? Do you say, hey, I saw that and here's how you did it? How do you approach that? Well, you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about, how he set it up. Don't think about just the big punch that landed. Remember how you got to that point. So here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. It's got the look of a fight that's going to go the distance. But I'll tell you this, Teddy. It'll have lots of action right to the final bell. Yeah, yeah, I have a funny feeling. This is like a throwback fight. And these are the mentalities of these two fighters. If you told them it was a 20-round fight, like the old days, a 30-round fight, they would somehow find a way to go the distance. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind that means the guy will throw hard back at him. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Harry counters back against his opponent. Castillo's doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. Dynamite showing us that his legs may not be completely underneath him the way he wants them to be after being stunned earlier. He's really hanging on in there. He's tying up a lot. Yeah, but he's being allowed to. I have to say that right now as a trainer, that he's allowed to do that. His opponent should not cooperate with him. He should take a little step back and make sure he takes advantage. Don't let him tie up. Castillo's cheek is cut, and you can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. I don't know how they are keeping this up. They are setting such a scorching pace of action in this fight. You can see there's blood on his cheek. Nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by El Terrible. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining. But I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Good block there by El Terrible. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Locks it away.
Castillo's got a real problem on his hands now, Teddy. I think the cut is actually worsening around his eye. He has to do a better job of watching out for that. He has to protect that eye. Yeah, what he has to do now is give his corner man, his cut man, a chance for his work to be accomplished. In other words, there's been coagulants, chemicals put into that eye. Now the fighter has to move a little bit, be elusive, and allow those chemicals, those medicines to work. Castillo's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. How is he able to do this? How is he able to take these shots? You know, one time Muhammad Ali talked about taking a chin. He had one of the great chins of all time. And what he basically talked about was that when you start to get hit those shots, you start to go down a hallway. And then you go into a gray room. You go from a light room to a gray room. And at the end of the hallway, you see a dark room. You don't want to go to that dark room. And you have a choice. You put your feet down, you start backing up. I'm not going to that dark room. This guy is not being taken to that dark room. Good block. Castillo's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Final 10 seconds. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. in the books, sick to go. Right. Nice block by Dynamite. You're taking too many punches. Hands up. <laughs> was a miss by El Terrible. Wow! He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He's in bad shape. Maybe a punch or two more and he's on Keep the canvas. Guys. Teddy, what does Come he need now. to think Keep about busy. now? Well, one of the things that he can't think about, he'd love to run away. <laughs> he'd love to get away from what's hurting him. His legs are not solid enough. So he's going to have to find a way to tie up. Boy, what guts. What guts to stay in there and gather yourself again after he was taking a beating. Yeah, what guts, what instincts, and what a set of whiskers. Dynamite's cut man is going to need to be all over this side. The swelling seems to be getting worse. Well, it's kind of like being a gardener. You have to start getting in there before the weeds come up. You can't wait until the weeds are all over the place and then pull them up. You're going to destroy those beautiful rose bushes. Well, it's the same thing here. you got to get to this eye before the swelling's there. you got to put that end swell, that cold piece of metal, onto that place early on. Defensive skill with the block by El Terrible. Wow. 
Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. that uppercut gets rid of that body shot now this round comes to an end Joe and Teddy with your ring set uh, this is one of those fights Teddy. it just feels like to me where it's gonna be tough to really score I mean it's been a close fight yeah it's a hard fight to score because you have one guy maybe a little busier but the other guy makes up for it because he's a little heavier a little heavier with those blows so it's a matter of Maybe the taste of the judges, what they prefer. Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Castillo's fighting real smart here on the outside. Castillo's making for a trainer's dream right now. Picking his shots, Teddy. Selecting when, where, and being very accurate. Yeah, the old timers would say he's a real sharpshooter. That's exactly what he's doing. He's not missing much. Gotta love being his opponent, right? You come into a fight like this tonight, you're so worried about getting off your punches, landing accurate punches. Well, here it is. Not gonna move the head at all. Come and get it. No, you just have to worry about you don't hurt your hands. You better hope <laughs> that you wrap them real good because you're banging that nugget all night long. Castillo's cheek is cut. You can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. to go in a round that feels like an all-time classic. Punch for punch, they're meeting each other. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Dynamites down, down on the canvas. How will he recover from this? He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Exchange. End of that round. And the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of 
crawl up into a ball and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent, Liv. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He can get a chance to grab those hands and tie them up. And then he can kill a little of the clock, survive. Protecting his head well with his guard. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Castillo's well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business in boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. Good block by El Terrible. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, what special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. Looking right hand after he got hit. Good stuff in the opening two minutes. A minute to go in this round. Gets rid of that body shot. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Back to action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. Lands the counter. Oh, boy, look at this. Right from the get-go, they go after one another. They remind me of my 15-year-old son going to the dinner table. Well, his opponent doesn't like that, but that's exactly what he was trying to do. Just create some space there. Parries that punch intended for the head.
for the second time tonight, he goes down. Some way he's gonna continue on here. And if he's gonna stay in this fight, now he's gotta avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. And there's a clinch after clearly being damaged. Come on, guys, punch it out. Punch it out. No holding. Castillo's now pushing away a bit. He's creating some space. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect... Oh, he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He's in bad shape. He's on wobbly legs. Teddy, he's got to tie up. If he can. See, that's up to his opponent, Joe. It's not automatic that he's going to get what he wants to tie up. If his opponent steps back a little bit, he can keep this offense going Come and end now, this night. Another clinch. Keep busy, guys. Come on now, keep busy. Oh, and there you go. Dynamite's in a bad no spot holding. right now. He's been stunned. He's in a tough spot. There's no way around it. The eye is swelling so badly that we could see an end to this fight. Yes, it is, but it's not an impossible busy, spot. It's not now. a Come spot on. where fighters before him have not been in and have not survived. Oh, that's got to hurt. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Round comes to an end. We saw the knockdown there in that round. A little bit of a momentum gainer. Yeah, obviously it gives you confidence, but you know what? It can also be a momentum killer, believe it or not. I've, How so? Joe, I've had guys where the worst thing that happened to them in a fight was when they scored the knockdown because they thought it was just going to keep happening. And they thought about only the punts they landed, not how they set it up. So they got away from the game plan. Got the ring off. He's got to find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the game. Right, you knew the That's swelling was bad. Now you see the result. The ref stepping in, stopping this fight. That's a TKO. Castillo. Castillo's your winner by TKO, Teddy. Ah, he did a great job. From the beginning to the end, there was never a doubt. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We'll see you next time.